crappie. Hey, come on now. I already know that they're one of your favorites, if not your favorite fish to catch. And I think America probably does have a favorite fish. That's a nice fish. Yes, they can be found in almost every kind of lake, reservoir, river, and farm pond. And yes, they thrash and splash and fight like the Dickens. And yes, when it comes to good eating, crappies are awful tough to beat. It all adds up to the classic American tradition simply that can't be beat. Hi, I'm Babe Winkleman, and thanks for joining me and my friend here on this very special video. This tape is dedicated to all of you who are interested in crappies and the new crappie fishing craze that seems to have been taking the country by storm since Crappiethon USA got started. In 1984, its number of participants soared from 30,000 then to over a quarter of a million today. But you know, when most people go crappie fishing, I'm afraid they go out with a bobber and a hook and, and a minnow or a worm, and sometimes you catch fish and then they're biting, and other times you don't catch fish and then they're not biting. As I always say, nothing in nature just happens, but everything in nature happens just. We have two arms instead of one, feet with five toes instead of four, and yes, even the hair on my face is there for some specific reason. Crappie, crappies, 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 crappies. Let's talk a little bit about the star of this tape, the crappie. There's a lot of ways to skin a cat and there's a lot of ways to catch a crappie. Let's take a look at where crappies go and what they do during the spring months. Crappie can be found in just about any place on any given lake for any number of reasons. There, crappies are every place across America and every lake has its own hot spots. At this time of year, look for suspended schools of crappies on your flasher. There's a lot of places to catch a crappie. Let's get into some of the best methods I know of for catching crappies. Watch this. Now this is my number one system for catching crappie usually and for finding crappie. I call it my fish magnet, or crappie magnet if you will. Oh man, I landed up on that reef. But a lot of times when I first start and I'm hunting, there, and I'm hunting crappies, there's some do's and don'ts with how you set a hook and what you do once they bite. Oh, watch this, there he goes. I got a crappie this time. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh boy. Now this is what you call a big black slab crappie. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Okay? For quiver jigs, oh, wait a second, my bobber's down. Where'd you, oh, there. Oh, he jumped. <laughs> oh boy, it's another good crappie. Oh boy, this, that wind is. Now, there's different sizes of them, obviously. Where's my bobber? Oh, you're back already. You kind of snuck up on me there. Hey, thanks again for joining me and my friend here on this special tape on understanding crappie. Every one of us will need all the help we can get, that is, if we want to compete someday in one of the many upcoming crappie-thon events. And I want to wish all of you all the luck in the world as you go fishing for crappies or any other thing for that matter.